Today, I'm going to show you how to turn a drawing into a 3D print model. This will be a step-by-step -step guide for beginners on how to turn a drawing into a 3D print that you can print on your 3D printer. By the way, my name's Chris, and this is 3D Print Dude. And this process of turning a drawing into a 3D print model is one of the coolest things ever. Let's get started. Step number one, what we have to do is get your drawing on your computer somehow. What I advise you to do is take a picture of your drawing with your phone try to have some decent lighting someone actually just emailed me this it says hey can you take my son's drawing of a roblox style character and turn it into a 3d print so what i'm going to do is right click and save this image so you essentially need to get the drawing on your computer step number two what we want to do is go over to chat gpt now what we're going to do is we're going to put our drawing into chat gpt so click on the plus button add photos I'm gonna add the drawing right here. Then we're going to ask Chappie T to help us turn this into a realistic character. Can you help me turn this drawing into a realistic character on a white background, period? This is of a custom Roblox character that a child drew, period. Help me bring it to life. Then click on go. I will say that you don't always get a perfect image that it creates right away. You may have to sit there and talk to it a little bit. And I also advise you put it on a white background. That helps the next tool kind of figure out what the character is and see it better. All right, so here's the character right here. It looks super good. So here's the comparison of what it created. And then here's the drawing. Like, I don't think it gets any better than this. Then what we want to do is we want to download this image and save it. Step number three, what we next want to do is go to a tool called Meshi AI. I'll throw my affiliate link in the description. This tool is absolutely bonkers. It uses AI to turn images into 3D models. Once you're at the dashboard, what we want to do is click on this feature right here where it says image to 3D. Next, what we want to do is go on over to the left hand side and I know there's a lot of settings and it's kind of confusing, but it's, this is actually really simple guys. What I highly advise you do is to not look at all of the settings because you can customize those later. What you want to do is click this upload button right here and what we want to do is upload our image that ChatGPT made for us from our drawing. Then scroll down a little bit where it says name. What you can do then is name it. I'm going to name it Roblox Drawing. And then click down here where it says generate. Okay, so here is the model. Within 30 seconds, this is what I have. Like if this isn't blowing your mind, guys, I don't know what will. So to show you guys a couple other quick examples, here is a French bulldog that I created from an image. Did this in like 20 seconds, just thoroughly blown away with the results. My daughter asked me for a little Barbie table and it created this out of thin air. It will create models with prompts. You can just tell it, hey, can you make me a Barbie table? This is what it did. I asked it to make me a PVC elbow and within a minute, it made it. My daughter was wanting to 3D print some fake dog poop and it made it. We were also looking to 3D print a Barbie bathtub. I gave it a one sentence prompt and it made it. I think we need to take a second and realize what we just did. We just turned a drawing that was on paper and within a couple of minutes, we completely turned it into a 3D model utilizing AI. These tools are absolutely crazy. Meshi has been my favorite thing in 3D printing forever. I know some people are on the fence with AI modeling, but the tool app is absolutely crazy. These models are yours to own as well. You can sell them. You can do what you want with them as you wish. I'll put my affiliate link in the description. You'll get a free trial using that link. You'll be able to create the models, but you won't be able to download them on the trial. This is a paid tool, but guys, it's only like 20 bucks a month. All right, back to the tutorial. Step number four, what we want to do is we want to download our STL file, right? So this is the model. It looks amazing. And what you want to do here is go down here where it says download, click on that. And then what you need to do is cho choose the format that you want to download it in. So if you're going to be doing single color printing, this is probably the easiest way to do this. If you'd like to add color to this file, what you can then do is click on the texture button down here and you can actually add the color to the file from the image as well. So you can see over here where it says texture now. So click on that and then it'll just take a couple of seconds to add the color. So here is the file with color. It turned out absolutely amazing. But I will say, guys, I've been having a lot of issues getting the colors to save to the 3D file. 
just because it, it, it just doesn't do that well. So what I've been doing is coloring it in the slicer. And what you can also do is just paint it with acrylic paint. But that's totally up to you if you want to deal with multicolor or not. We'll talk about it more in the slicer here. Step number five, what we want to do next is open up your slicer of choice. I'm going to do the Elegoo Orca slicer and I'm going to open a new project then. So next what we want to do is we want to click on the plus button and import your new model that we just created. Here it is, it's called Roblox Drawing. This is an STL file. So scale it to the size that you want. I'm gonna print this in a lighter color. I think I'm gonna go with like a gray or something like that just because we're painting it. So like I was telling you guys, what you can actually do is change the filament colors in your slicer. So say if you wanted to change certain things that filament colors, what you need to do is left click and highlight it on your slicer. This is gonna be a little different depending on what slicer. You can then sit there and change the filament color of the sections you want. Again, I have a million tutorials on how to change filament colors and slicers. You can go ahead and check out the channel if you want to do that. But for me, we're going to print it in single color. One of the biggest obstacles with AI modeling is the fact that they don't really think of where supports go. And this is a huge deal. I can already tell by looking at this that we're going to need a bunch of supports, especially on like the glasses and such, because what we're doing here is we need supports where there's overhangs. So go to the support section in your slicer, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna enable tree support automatic and then we are going to click slice on the preview tab and see what it comes up with. So as you can see, it is full of supports. That is one of the biggest setbacks of AI modeling is because uh, someone else maybe would have built this model thinking of supports and we won't have as much. And next we have the last step. We need to send this 3D model to the 3D printer. We're gonna print this in pet G. All right, we're gonna send that to the 3D printer here. Click upload. We're gonna print it on the Centauri Carbon. So here's the 3D printer getting started right now. And it says that's gonna take about two hours and 42 minutes. I'm a little worried about these supports, but we'll just do our best. All right guys, checking on the printer here. The file is appearing to be printing really well. That gray color is actually turning out pretty decent. And like I was telling you guys, we're gonna paint it anyways. So here it is. I'm pretty happy with the layout of this. Uh, the supports kind of were a mess like I was thinking, but hopefully they kind of tear away easy. So here we go, wish me luck. And of course, yeah, they're actually tearing apart pretty easily, so I really like this. Man, oh man, it's crazy what we can create nowadays. Like this literally took me like maybe like a couple minutes to design. Anybody can be doing this. Like it's absolutely crazy. Hit me up in the comments what you guys think of this model. I turned some kid's drawing into an actual 3D print. Hopefully this video helped you learn how to turn a drawing into a 3D model that you can print on your 3D printer. Hit me up in the comments down below if you have questions. And guys, before you go, check out this video right here. I'm confident that you're going to love it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.